Hi there, I'm Joe Francis Dowden. Now we all love puddles, and just by putting a few of these in your landscape painting, you can make it look beautiful. So here's an easy way to do this. Now I've worked from a sketch. It's a loose pencil sketch, and it just gives the general idea of the landscape. And I'm going to start now by mixing a few colours. Firstly, I'm going to use some phthalo blue and alizarin crimson with a little bit of Naples yellow and cadmium yellow for the sky. Now next, for the land, we'll need some burnt sienna and some Naples yellow. And then for the grass, a lot of cadmium yellow and a very small amount of green. And this is phthalo green. And then we need our background of trees. So I'm going to use cobalt blue and mix this with some burnt sienna and a tiny little bit of crimson alizarin. And then finally, when we do the path, we need an intense dark. And for that, we'll need a lot of French ultramarine and some burnt umber to literally turn it black. First thing I'm going to do is wet the paper and place the sky. And I do this by saving some lights around the trees, put the water onto the paper. This paper is Arsh, 140 pounds in weight, and it's got a rough surface, very easy to paint on, and this will give us a lot of the texture. I'm going to use this number eight brush to just put a blush of blue into the sky. And we're gonna have a gray blue, so we just put a little bit of cobalt blue into the top of the sky, like this. Doesn't matter if some of it goes on the trees. Then, tiny bit of crimson. And we run that up from the bottom. And this will start to go fairly gray, a slightly violet gray. It's a very good way of painting a sky, this. You put the blue in at the top, a crimson in underneath, and then in the middle, we're going to place a little yellow with some cadmium yellow and Naples yellow. So there we go. And now we can mix that together and we'll get a very light blush of grey for the sky. Next, we're going to make our distant woodland colour and we do this with some cobalt blue, burnt sienna and a little bit of crimson. So here we go, we get ourselves a nice mature brown for the distant woodland. So here we go, while that's still wet we'll just start to touch those colours in. And we've got a little farmstead here, all sorts of barns and clutter and roofs, perhaps a little cottage there, layerage for the animals, and it's just going to be a jumble of white. So we make sure we save that. And these are the distant trees, quite soft focus, and they are just blending up into the sky. Now we move down the painting and we get some colour in across the land with Naples yellow. I'm going to brush that straight across. There we are, we've broken up the farm. If we get a few little whites here and there, we just save them. They can be very useful to us later on, you never know. And then using the Naples yellow, we come down across the banks along the side of this muddy, unmade lane. And this could be anywhere in the country. You can go out any time and see a lane like this in the countryside. So we're just preparing with the initial light washes of colour. Now we'll start to make the green for the grass grassy banks and we do this by starting with a lot of yellow 
and then we add a very small touch of green. There we go. We've got a green. So now we add a little bit of burnt sienna to it to make it look credible. Start with a lot of yellow, add a little bit of green, and then a touch of burnt sienna, or burnt amber will do it. So now we've got the grassy banks on the, on the edge of the track. And now I'm going to leave that to dry.